Today we are going to explore the powerful tools and techniques of ArchiCAD as used by many architects and designers in the building information modeling. Uh, the key concept what, that we like to cover today is um, ArchiCAD and Elements and Attributes Part 2. Uh, we covered Elements and Attributes Part 1 where we were creating our custom own uh, attributes, layers, uh, fills and so on. So we continue today with uh, surfaces. We're going to create our own surfaces and explore how the use of creating your own surfaces to boost your own workflows, your, uh, your presentation and so on. So in this video, we have covered these are surfaces that we already have done, uh, th which will be available for download to our uh, subscribers and uh, Patreon, as well as uh, downloadable links in for you guys to download. So these are... Uh, you're going to assign those materials. I'm going to show you guys how I created those materials. And first of all, I'll show you where I downloaded them, where you could uh, get uh, real high quality textures, uh, PBR textures, SketchUp textures. This is where you could get them. And then the question is, how do you import them in ArchiCAD for you guys to enhance your presentations and boost your workflows? So let's jump into it. A kit contains hundreds of profound surfaces for every need, but if you need your own textures, uh, you need to know how to add your surfaces on your beam components. And this, we are going to use our surface settings dialog box. Uh, how do you attain this? Uh, you go to surfaces can be created here. You go to options, element and attributes, and surfaces. That's it. So now you are in the surfaces. Uh, dialog box settings the dialog box and once you assign a building material to to an element the element will use the surface of the building material you can however override the surface at the element you know so let's let's jump into it let's, let's get into it how do you assign um you know um how do you create your own element textures you know it, it my, my mind you those are textures uh, made of file made of image files because uh, they, they, they you need to let's say in your three workflows for renderings and so on this will be hen handy for such so question is the main key pointer here is how are you going to export these files to other working files after creating a whole lot of surfaces how are you going to export that and creating our services for of the standards as well and then these were key pointers of this video like exporting attributes and creating our own surfaces and then where to download PBR uh, textures this is a workflow that I advocate for okay so this is how you create your own surface you assign you duplicate remember you duplicate don't override and then you create your let's say this is concrete let's say this is concrete um, right click on the material right click on the material and then yes um, duplicate it duplicate it uh, name it and then this on the right side here these are settings of the material so we want to add our own these are text uh, filled image files and then locate where the material is so we have a whole chunk of materials here which are available for download as well and then yeah that's basically how you apply texture to you know to to your materials uh, yeah, this this you custom making your material you duplicate and assign a new um, a new image fill to the to the image that, that you renamed and you can repeat this process as many as as many times as you want you can create a whole library of your own name them give them your own name your office standard name and that's it so we are going to now move on to how to Let's say we have, we have created a thousand of materials, but now we have a project 
that you are running you don't know how to you can't create this process again you can recreate this process again as much as layers as much as uh, your your layers fills and surfaces and building materials let's say you've created your own uh, package of elements and attributes because elements and attributes make a whole lot of a template so you're going to go to uh, attribute manager where you could bring on your palette if you don't you go to windows and bring that attribute manager to palette or options attributes elements and attributes and yes so you're going to export this um we're going to export this this material that we the surface that we just created the concrete files the concrete images the uh, brickworks uh, and so on how do you do that at the ad element at attribute at the top there you go to surfaces and then you select all the material surfaces you want to export you select them all and then in the middle here you have that arrows directing where you want to go like the selected elements you could append to where you want to export on the right folder here this is our what's what's what you're going to export the right and then on the far right there let's export you save that's basically it even as the layers as well you do that the same thing you append you select on the left then in the middle you append and export that's basically it um that's basically it about importing after exporting you open your file that you want to um import where you're going to import your attributes from from for, for example i'll use this uh bachelor pad as uh for demonstration sake we're going to open it and then bring on the toolbar of our own attribute toolbar um, for us to access our attribute manager at the far right uh, far left that's where you click the attribute manager so this is what you will come out um, you have layers pens fills and so on so for s this case for today's scenario I'll focus on the uh, surfaces so I'm going to import the surface that are saved as you can see they are not uh, um, the red pictures the red uh, image has shows that I imported but it's missing so I need to now load those uh, materials like I'm going to file um, and then library and objects library manager and I import my textures okay let me now import again um, what I did is uh, like I said you're going to click here import those surfaces that are saved now you have to append again for them to be included in the project folder in the project um, uh, library the right side now you are doing the opposite side what you are doing when you are exporting so you are appending to the left not appending to the right so when you import you append to the left when you export you append to the right so yeah i did that i loaded my libraries now the images are there the file, my library is there in the project folder so for you to check you're going to go to surfaces and see if they are really apply okay you have to apply and close apply changes right yes so these are examples of the materials that I've, I've imported from a different project folder that's the key concept here how to migrate attributes from uh, one project to another Th that is the workflow i wanted to teach you guys today the workflow i wanted to teach you guys today so now you could apply the project and you can decorate the project with the surfaces high quality textures that uh, you created if you don't know how to create textures if you didn't know now you know you can now change a 
apply bricks, high quality bricks and two different elements. This is how you assign now textures, um, create load and share surfaces. And that, that was the talk to this topic about um, uh, that migrating and creating your own attributes. You could uh, go and so on and, and, and do quite a lot. Layers, pens, if you have your favorite pens, you can put them to a different project. If you have favorite, um, you know, layers and so on, import, export, import and export. So that was today's video. Now I'm going to decorate this file uh, with apply nice textures to this file, enhance it, boost the presentation and so on. To boost the presentation, to boost my presentation uh, by applying high quality textures to our models. Um, we can now go on to render with the Nike CAD because now we have applied quality textures, you know. So that was just about it today. Um, if you like this video, if you like liked this tip and trick, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, sh sh subscribe. Uh, like, share the video, and yes, that was just basically it, guys. Um, this is a whole lot of services that I've created for you guys, uh, available for download, uh, fills and attributes, lines, and so on. We're working on this file, uh, composites and building materials are next. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, thank you for the feedbacks you've been giving us um, we appreciate um, stay creative bye for now see you in the next video